Ten years ago, uh, Angela Fulmer went missing in the Mount Shasta area. Now her cold case is a priority for Siskiyou County, one they're treating as a homicide. Today would have been Fulmer's 45th birthday, and detectives in Siskiyou County say they won't rest until her case is solved. I never liked the term cold case. It's just continued to be investigated. Lieutenant Mark Hilsenberg was one of the first on scene when Angela Fulmer went missing. He says hers is a case he's never given up on. The former detective says the difference between now and then is the way the sheriff's office looks at old missing persons files. Pretty much taking us off our leashes and let us, you know, really, really pursue these cases. Fulmer was reported missing on December 15, 2002, and Hilsenberg says from the start, things just didn't add up. There are just some inconsistencies in regards to how she was reported missing and the details surrounding it. Her ex-boyfriend Tom O'Connell made the report. According to him, the two had been out driving that afternoon near Lake Siskiyou when they got into a fight. They had gotten into some type of argument and that she got mad and just walked off. Off into the woods where later that evening it would begin to snow. One of the main concerns is there was a huge snowstorm and for a young gal to be out with basically the clothes on her back out in that kind of snowstorm, that was extremely concerning to us also. The weather made search efforts difficult. The county brought in snowplow, search and rescue teams, as well as canine units, but never found a trace of the missing woman. Hilsenberg says time was of the essence, because if Fulmer had been left in the woods alive, she wouldn't survive long in the snow. And the missing persons report didn't come in till 3 in the morning. I think roughly it was about 18 hours before she had been reported missing. Hilsenberg says if she'd been reported missing earlier, things would have been different. Today, Fulmer's case is back in the spotlight for the sheriff's office. Uh, Angela Fulmer's case is a major priority for our department. Sheriff John Lopey says they're investigating it as a homicide. He says something happened to Fulmer and he thinks several people in the area know what it was. I'd like everybody to know and Angela's family to know, her kids and her mother, uh, you know, the rest of her family, that uh, we won't rest until we solve this case. Covering your news in Siskiyou County, Caitlin Conrad, News 10. Former left behind five children, three sisters, and her mother. Tonight on News 10 at 6, for the first time, her family is speaking about their search to find out what happened to Angie.